Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a stamp set from the mini catalog. It's not a part of a suite, so I wanted to make sure that I did a video on it and don't look over it because I think it's a great one to have in your stamping arsenal. So, it's called Mountain Air, and it's a really cool stamp set because it is a reversible stamp set. So you have the image and then the back side of the image is stampable as well so that you can kind of get um, different layers on it. And I'll show you kind of what I mean as I stamp that with it. I also wanted to pair it with this stamp set. Seriously, the best is this one. I love the big sayings in here so much. So I used that one as well to make up some cards for this. So I want to show you how this stamp set works um, and we'll kind of start making a card. So I have this mountain scene and I'm first going to stamp the, um, the detailed side of the stamp and I'm going to use Knight of Navy. I'm just going to ink that up really good and stamp it down. Now this stamp set is nice because you can also bundle a die set that goes with it. Let me pull that in here too. So you can see, so it has, you can cut out the mountains and there's the tree line and then these two big trees too. They're, it's really cool. It's a fun um, set. So I'm going to use my die and I'll cut those mountains out, but then I want to use this same stamp, but I'm going to clean it and then reverse it around and I'm going to use the back side of it and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So I'm just going to clean this real quick and then just flip it around. Whoop. So then I'm going to be using the broad side of that stamp now. So I'm going to start with using Highland Heather and I'm just going to ink up that whole back side of that mountain image and I'm going to just stamp it off once just like that and then stamp it down on my Whisper White paper like that. And then I'm going to clean it in, be in between each time I stamp because I'm using different colors. Okay, next I'm going to bring in my Blackberry Bliss and ink that up and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to stamp it off once and then I'm just going to kind of go right over the top of that Highland Heather and you'll notice this little gray um, foam sheet underneath. The reason I'm using that, that we call it our stamp and piercing pad but it gives just an, a little bit of cushion for these photopolymer stamps so it's really great to use that to stamp with when you're using a photopolymer stamp. Just helps to give a little bit more cushion. Okay, and then I'm going to bring back in my Knight of Navy and I'm going to full strength stamp this. So this one's going to be pretty dark. I'm going to stamp that down. And you can see I'm just kind of building my mountain scene there. Yeah. Okay, and then I'll cut this piece out and I'm going to put it right in front of there. Let me bring in the full card so you can see the full effect there, just like that. So then I also stamped this in Mossy Meadow, on Mossy Meadow, and then cut out the tree line so it has that too. I got the inspiration from this card actually from the catalog itself. You can see right here. I changed it up a little bit but I kind of got the inspiration right there with the colors and everything. So it, it's really fun. I'm, I'm loving this stamp set. I love the ability to build different layers and to just have a really fun look. And it's great for manly cards, which I love. So let me show you a few other ideas that I've come up with using this stamp set. I love in here that there's clouds, so you can do a fun cloud scene. There's this thank you card and with some watercoloring in the background there on the paper, on the watercolor paper, and then cut out some of those fun trees. Love it. 
I'm having so much fun playing with the new stamp sets in the mini, mini catalog. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you comment below and make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.